Hey guys, EVP Man here. I know we've been giving a lot of love to the uh, Gear S3 Frontier and the Gear uh, Classic, but today I gotta give some love to my new drone. This is the Mavic Pro from DJI. Let's unbox it. Now, as DJI has been producing uh, these drones, they fell behind. This drone was actually supposed to make it uh, here probably about a month ago, and just today um, it arrived. Uh, so a lot of people have been waiting for this, and I was hoping to, to fly this. I'm in the Midwest where there was no snow, but we're going to see it working um, in a snow environment. Now, some of you may be asking yourselves, you know, why should I consider a drone? Well, after we do the unboxing and see what's in the box, we're going to go ahead and look and see uh, and talk about who would benefit from a drone and why would you consider one? So let's do the unboxing. Now before doing the unboxing I thought I'd talk about some of the specs and just uh, really quickly so that you can see the overall um, I would say footprint of this drone is so small uh, the weight is 1.62 pounds. That's how small this thing is. Now, it is a very capable and, and fast drone, and you can see um, what the uh, speeds are uh, for ascent and descent, which is kind of crazy for something this small. Uh, the max speed is 40 miles per hour. Uh, amazing for something, again, of this size. And then also the max uh, service is of 1,000 or 16,404 feet, uh, 5 miles. Uh, incredible. Now, the thing that I always look for, or that I, and one of the reasons why I got this drone, was really, you know, how long can you fly on one battery on one charge? Uh, because some drones, especially some of the smaller ones, uh, the least expensive ones, have a very short flight time. Max flight time of 27 minutes. I think that's going to be awesome. Now, keep in mind that if you do uh, think about purchasing a drone like this, uh, it's probably going to be a uh, to your benefit to get two batteries because it does take an hour to charge. So if you want to get 40 minutes of solid drone flying, you'll want to do that. You could see that hovering time where it's just stationary, it's 24 minutes. And then overall flight, you know, it continues to give you a little bit more details to what's going on here. Now it does have a GPS, has all the cool features. It has uh, obstacle sensing, so it will avoid obstacles, which makes this really easy to fly for those of you who are concerned about crashing it. From a camera perspective, uh, the camera is pretty outstanding. So you do have 4K capabilities as you can see here. So you have 4K capabilities as well as the ability to downgrade the video if you want as well as you can take pictures. Now this um, um, drone also has the ability to follow you and what I like about the features um, with this drone when it comes to following is that it doesn't require you to wear a, a bracelet or any kind of device for the system to follow you. you and you don't really even need the remote. All you need to do is first establish that you're the you're the object that you want the system to follow and then it will follow you for those 27 minutes and the cool thing about the, the drone as well is that in the event that it's running out of power it will return back to its uh, place of origin before it's out of power so a lot of uh, flexibility um, and a lot of capabilities when it comes to something that is so small so let's go ahead and unbox the drone I'm going to open this up and this is where you can see why there's so much excitement about the drone now first of all here is our drone. You can see how small this is. So I'll put it in my hand um, so that you can see the actual size. It has, um, here are all the propellers, everything is connected. And we'll put that to the side. You have nothing here. It looks like a uh, USB cable, micro USB cable. Um, Again, some cables here. Uh, here's another micro USB cable, a power adapter uh, or power cord. The remote control, which is very much um, Game Boy like, it's small, compact, and this area here opens up so that you can put your phone. You can see that. Documentation and probably you know safety and information about registry and then it looks like uh, this is the charging brick uh, and you'll notice uh, here's the adapter that gets connected uh, to charge the battery now one other cubby hole that there is um, some more accessories hidden is this area right here so we'll open this up and see what we have in these uh, we have two bags here and there doesn't seem to be anything else here so we'll open this up I think uh, these are some blades and it looks like Yep, that's what it is. So here we have some blades. So we have blades uh, for each one of the arms that go there. And we'll see, uh, this may be an extra, an extra pair of blades. Let's see. And yes, it is. So we have, it looks like we have another pair of blades. Now when you receive your drone, it's going to have uh, 
two blades uh, that are currently uh, connected and positioned well. And then what you have is uh, two additional that need to be installed. And you'll notice here on the drone itself that it has kind of the, this locking mechanism. Uh, what you'll do is, and you'll notice right here, uh, that it kind of locks in. So what you do is you'll put it in and then you twist it in the direction to lock. So you notice here it goes in and then you twist it this way to lock in place. So here I have the blade on top. I'm going to push in and then I'm just going to twist. There it is. Now it's locked into place. That's it. So now the cool thing about this drone is just how it, it opens up and um, from a collapsible position. So what we're going to do first, um, we're going to start with these legs first. So you're going to open up each side just like this. Right? And then we're going to take the ones that are on the bottom here and we're going to bring them up and we're going to do the same thing. And now uh, that's the drone. Now one of the things I will tell you, it's hard to get it on camera, is that this feels super solid. Even though the arms come out uh, the way they did, as they're coming out you can feel that there's heavy, uh, good tension on these arms and it feels incredibly solid. The material, while it's a plastic material, does not feel cheap in any way. Um, you'll notice here on the very bottom, um, you'll notice uh, there's some sensors and a lot of things going on here that we'll review once we um, go through the setup and review. And as I remove this area here, uh, you'll notice that here we have the actual camera. So we'll just leave that on for now. But very easy to assemble, not much to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to charge it and we'll follow up with the video on you know just the features and what you have to do when you get your first drone. This will be my first and I hope to share with you my experience. So this concludes my unboxing of the DJI Mavic Pro. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment area below. If you want to subscribe, click on that button right there. And as always, don't forget to share and like. Thanks for watching.